Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day as we finish our week on peace today, looking at war. I was in eighth grade when I had my last fist fight. I was with another fella in the schoolyard at McKinsey Junior High School. Um, we got taken to the principal and uh, I remember it very well. Uh, I remember not only getting in trouble with the principal, I remember getting in trouble when I went home. I think mom or dad may have said something to me. I, actually, it was probably mom about uh, if someone strikes you on the left cheek, turn to him the right. Um, dad, I think, was more concerned that I came out on top in the fight. Um, but as I grew up and as I grew in my faith and learned the importance of peace, uh, I gave away the, the fist fight of eighth grade as uh, the last time. And I tried really hard to find peace in my life. But you know, there are times where peace does not work. And this has been true for ages. Jesus said, you'll always have wars with you. And there are times where uh, it's, it's right to battle. I mean, if you come after me, I hope I have enough peace to, to endure it. But if you come after one of my kids or you come after my wife or one of my grandkids, um, I'm going to have zero trouble standing up and being uh, responsive. Uh, the same principle is true if you look at uh, history of war. You know, the propriety of going to war against Hitler and the Nazi regime, there's no question in my mind about the propriety of that. But in trying to decide what war is proper, when is it right to battle? When is it right to say, I can't have peace right now? Uh, this is not something that that people are just thinking of now or for the last hundred years. Augustine, uh, 1,600 years ago, wrote about this. Uh, perhaps the, the most exhaustive Christian writing on it was St. Thomas Aquinas, who wrote in the Middle Ages, late Middle Ages, and, and he came up with certain principles. And there are really about six principles that are good, solid Christian principles for when it's okay to trade peace for aggression or war. The first principle is you've got to have a just cause. You, you can't just go to war. You can't uh, uh, embattle someone or something if your cause is not just, it's not right. The second is it's got to be a last resort. Other solutions have to fail. You need to try to find those solutions and work through those solutions before you just pell-mell go into battle mode. The third is that the war be declared by a proper authority. Uh, this, is, this is one that recognizes that certain governments or certain people uh, have the authority to declare such a war or to declare battle, and it's not uh, uh, just if it's not declared by the proper authority. Otherwise, it's rebellion or, or something uh, akin to that. The fourth element is you've got to have the right intention. You might have a just cause. It might be a last resort. It might be declared by a proper authority. But the real reason you're going to war might not be the just cause. It might be because you want someone's oil or you want someone's land or you want someone's resources or fill in the blank. You've got to have the right intention. The fifth element is you've got to have a reasonable chance of success. Without a reasonable chance of success, uh, uh, it is not deemed to be just to go to war. And then the sixth and final element is the end has to, to be proportional to the means. Uh, you, you can't go wipe out an entire nation just because one person may have offended you, or, or you may have a just cause against something lesser than the, the greater whole. Uh, in a sense, it's, it's taking the least necessary means to get to what the result needs to be for justice. So as a Christian, I don't look at the need for peace as one that says there's never a time for war. I look at peace as what we should strive to have, both with God and with others. It should be a hallmark of the Christian life. But there are times where battle lines must be drawn. I just don't want that to be until the cause is clearly just, until it's a last resort, declared by a proper authority, with the right intentions, a reasonable chance of success, 
and an end proportional to the means. In that sense, you've got a just war. By the way, the last battle spoken of in the Bible is found in the book of Revelation, where Jesus comes back and declares war on all that is evil. And there you've got a just cause. And there it is the last resort. He's waited till the end of time and the evil continues. He's certainly the proper authority with the right intention. Reasonable chance of success? Oh yeah, he will be successful. And the end will be eternity with evil being vanquished. That's your thought for the day. Next week, children of the Bible. I'll see you then.